Take a look at this hexagon with its six sides and angles. Now let's make four congruent copies of it. There's one congruent copy there, another congruent copy, so that's two, a third congruent copy, and now a fourth congruent copy. All five of these hexagons are exactly the same, so they're congruent. They've all got the same side lengths, and all their angles are the same measure. Now let's look at this pentagon. I can take this pentagon and I can rotate it. Let's go ahead and do that. Rotate round and round and round and round and rotate round and round. But it's still congruent. I have not changed the side lengths. I have not changed the angle measures. I've just rotated it a bit, twirled it round. Now let's go ahead and slide that pentagon around. I can slide it up over here, slide it back down over here. I can slide it back over this way, but it still stays the same pentagon even though I moved it. It's still congruent to the original pentagon. Now take a gander at this rectangle. It's got a perimeter of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen units. It's got eighteen units as its perimeter. Now let's check out its area. Well, it's got one square unit, two square units, three square units, four square units, five square units, six square units, seven square units, eight square units, nine square units, 10 square units, 11 square units, 12 square units, 13 square units, 14 square units, 15 square units, 16 square units, 17 square units, and 18 square units. So the area of this rectangle is 18 square units. Now, let's see what happens if I slide this, this little rectangle up over here. Well, it looks to me like it's got exactly the same perimeter and exactly the same area, so it's congruent. Now I'm gonna rotate it a bit. All right, well, I rotated it, and it's congruent to the other copies. It has the same area, and the same perimeter. Now I'm gonna challenge you. Take a look at these rectangles. Can you find which two are congruent to one another? I'll give you a second. Well, you're right if you said these two right here. These two rectangles are exactly the same. They are congruent. Now how about those stars? Which two of those are congruent? Well, you're right if you chose these two right here. They're exactly the same. And finally, can you tell which two circles are congruent to one another? So these two right here, they're exactly the same size, they got the same perimeter and the same area, so they're congruent. Congruent shapes are exactly the same. Congruent shapes are exactly the same. Congruent shapes.